Yo, what is up everybody? Zan's Epic Kid here, back with another header game called Noapte Bona Muna. I don't know how it's pronounced, I'm sorry. And this was by a team consisting of the Red Magician and Donuts3132, aka the Patchwork Pastries. I'm not sure what this is about really, but hmm. I can't wait to find out. This was made in RPG Maker XP, as I can see from this. I, I, I can recognize that title screen anywhere. However, let us begin. Oh wait, um... Oh yeah, this was made for the Unlikely Heroes Jam, in which you had to pick three underrated characters from a list. And have them be significant in the game. As well as, if there are popular characters, there are a list of band actions and words for them. So, without further ado, let us begin. Also, I have the vibe that this is going to be a fantasy theme. Oh my freaking god! <laughs> I know that line anywhere. That's from Avatar The Last Airbender. One of my most favorite shows of all time. Long ago, the four nations lived in harmony. But then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> Only the Avatar, master of all four nations, could stop him. However, when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed, and my brother and I discovered a new Avatar, an airbender named Aang. And although his airbending skills are great, he still has a lot to learn before he can save anyone. But I believe Aang can save the world. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Then... Everything changed when the Moss King attacked. Only a true hero could stop him. However, when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hero who wore fancy armor and had a cool, epic awesome, the likes of which no one ever seen jewel encrusted sword. Is that Mo- Wait, is that Moldova? Oh my god, it's the boy! The had a snake head. What? He was a very handsome hero. Everyone loved him. He was beloved. Loved by all. And he was going to save the world. Aha! Uh -huh, now you will surely fall to my evil villainy with this trap! Oh no! It's a glitch! No! He caused the glitch and ended the universe! I never saw it coming! I'm kidding. Okay, hopefully no, no game-breaking glitch happens. Haha, -ha, I am giant stone monster, and now I shall fuck! <laughs> okay, so... I think I found out the the source of the glitch. The folder for the face sets got named, like, slightly differently. And I guess RPG Maker XP is, like, very... caps sensitive, like, lowercase, uppercase sensitive, yeah. Anyways, let's continue. Never! I will never fall into your evil villainy trap! I've stabbed you! You're mortally wounded! No! Who? Who are you? Your first nightmare! Kick. <laughs> I am a great knight! I will defeat you, and before you die, you will remember my name! Sir Aurel, Vanquisher of- Moldova? It's time for dinner! Ooh. Actually, I recognize this art. This is by the Red Magician. I really like their style. No! Not now! I have to defeat the Moss King! They'll stop defeating him. Bulls meet Pelmini. Come on, you love his Pelmini. If I leave now, the Moss King will take over the kingdom! No one will be safe! They will force us to work 70 hours a day! Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Wait, what? Isn't the day 24 hours? What what planet do you live on? I need moss for all our meals. And if you don't come downstairs now, I'll lock you in your room and you won't be able to eat anything for dinner. Even moss. Mm. Hi. Aw, so adorable. I love his sprite. 
gracious hero allowed himself to be pulled away by his annoying older brother to eat dinner with a stupid friend. Because apparently, that's more important than saving the whole world from an evil, evil person. We'll finish this later, Moss King. Aww, he's so cute! <laughs> Protect this baby! <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, candle. Candle and umbrella. And bed. And teddy bear. Okay. And map. Let's go. Ooh, I, I'm loving these maps already. Let's go forward, broom. Oh, wait, wait. Let's go into... I'm going to poke around Big Brother's room because he is me and wants me to not defeat the Mod King. Wait. There's a freaking skull in that room. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, that's Mole's room. That's the bathroom. And this. I don't know what room this is. Hmm. The guest room? I'm jumping on the tables! <laughs> Take that! Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's go. You're putting too much white vinegar on that. You're putting too much white vinegar on that! <laughs> Maybe I like them vinegary. You literally complained last time I dressed them with vinegar. Shut up. I'm not gonna say I told you so when you would complain. What you doing? Aw, I love this trio. Well, I especially love Moldova and Romania. They're so precious. Oh. I'm finishing up the dumplings. Your brother is being an idiot. Hey! Yeah, he likes being an idiot. <laughs> he just freaking agrees with him. He's got some- a few screws loose. Well, it is his favorite hobby. Hey! I'm getting verbally destroyed here! Come on, I'm all done with these. Let's eat. Could you get the drinks, Ro? La 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 la. Sweet. So, how's your day been, Mole? Oh, you know. I had to leave a kingdom to be destroyed by an evil moss king because my stupid older brother said I had to eat dinner. Lovely and evil. <laughs> I'm normal. Um, I don't have to defeat anything. <sighs> Nothing about you is normal. You you dress like a fairy and you talk about yogurt and then you scream like a weeb. Okay, fine. I'm doing awful. The GOP of my country is horrid, and everyone either looks down at my, me pitifully or asks me to do stupid things. I mean, this is the third day in a row I've cooked for you because your cooking looks more like potion brewing. It sucks. Well, you don't do much better. My cooking is great. Well, buying yogurt doesn't count as cooking. I... Offering gum doesn't count as cooking either. Only did that twice. Or drinking rakia. I cooked this, didn't I? Fuss pot? Yeah, and it tastes great! Don't you think so, bro? You've barely eaten. Hmm. Now if we think very hard, bro, we might be able to think why. Maybe it's because of something on it. Don't say it. I'm not saying it. But I'm thinking it. And you know I'm thinking it. Thinking what? I'm out of the loop. So I've already won. You can still eat the sour cream. There's some left over. No, please don't eat the sour cream straight. That's disgusting. And you're already doing it. <laughs> you can eat them. I mean, he's drank a fountain in another game. So I, don't, I can see. I can't believe I have to live with you two for another week. What happened? Did his house burn down? Suck it up, you know you love us. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Which one of you put salt in my water? Moldova. Romania. 
getting another cup. <laughs> After dinner, I've got to go defeat that evil musking! Oh, really? And you'll defeat him by snoring at him? But I'm not tired! Promise! If you don't go to bed on time, you'll get dark rings around your eyes. And then you'll look like a raccoon! I don't mind! Raccoons are cute! Eh, I'm used to the raccoon look already. I can't have a raccoon in the house. You'll mess up my charms and potions. You'll have to sleep in the garbage with the other raccoons. And then you'll be stinky and won't be able to wash either because raccoons don't take baths. What if I was a very good raccoon? Well, well you're not even a very good human. Look at the state of your, of your room. Just go to bed and you won't have to worry about being either. But what about the citizens of the kingdoms? They'll still be there tomorrow, Mole. But they'll be suffering under the 70 work weeks. We might be dead though. The moss king will turn them into moss and eat them. Oh no, not if they're dead, I'll bring them all back for you using a very old branch of magic. Like you? I'm not as old as this magic. This magic is more like China's old. <laughs> That's freaking ancient, man. Alright, if you say so. I will sleep and think about Moss King. You'll fuck me in, right? Of course I will. I'll meet you there. <laughs> They're precious. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep crying whenever I see them. Anyways, let's go. Aw, it's nice when you're sweet to your brother. More like embarrassing. No, it's cute. I mean, it's better than him being like, Oh, well, I can shoulder everything on my own! And then Romini being like, I'm a useless older brother. He has to do a lot of shit by himself because I'm so incompetent. Ugh. No, it's cute. You should be nice more often. <sighs> You're right. I'll be nice starting from now on. Even though he's a gremlin. Which is understandable. Really? Yup. And since I'm so nice, I'm graciously allowing you to do the dishes. There isn't... <laughs> Isn't that nice of me? <laughs> oh, how thoughtful. You're a scion of kindness. I know! Yay! Uh. So, what happened to going to sleep? But I'm not tired! Come on, what did I say about the raccoons? I'm joining their legion of trash. They'll raid the bins by night. And rule the world! You still need to go to bed eventually, trash boy, or else you won't have any energy for your raids. How about I tell you a story? <laughs> it's so cute, he's making up his own stories. Like Moldova. Come on, you used to love it when I told you stories. But I already know all the stories on the shelf. You've read them all before. Well, this one's going to be a new one. I will think about it on my own. A better one. You know you're gonna love it! Mm, fine. Let us sleep. So, what's the story about? Well, uh... Did I ever tell you about the magical land of... Kigashia? No. Er... Oh my god. Ugh. At this point, I would rather take Kick Asia. Bulgaria? Where's that? It's, uh. It's right in the center of Killjoyville. All the people there are just horrible. I mean, they're really the worst. Super vulgar, too. Ro, I'm done with the dishes. Oh, good! You're here! You can listen to the story, too! The story about the Vulgaria! The... the what? What story? 
It takes place in Bulgaria, which is in the middle of Killjoyville, where everyone is horrible and mean. <laughs> oh, really? But, uh, I can't, hey now, I can't control where the story takes place now, can I? Yes, you can, you little shit. I guess not, but I think I've heard of this one actually, Moldova. Oh no. <laughs> you have? Yeah, it's the one where the main character is the worst of the lot. The prince of awfulness, if you will. And he had blonde hair, red eyes, and was so sickly pale that everyone who looked at him thought he was a ghost all the time. Hey, this person sounds familiar. I'm sure it does. You know, Bull, if you had beat with Prussia, you could have just told me! He's not even blind! <laughs> I'm describing you. I'm describing you, Romania. But what? Hey! Hey, come on, Rob. I can't control who the story is about. Alright, douche. Anyway, so this Romania... <laughs> we'll call him, um... Fomania. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that's quick for you. Shut it, anyways. Fomania was a massive prat. He wore this stupid red coat all the time and thought it made him look so cool. <laughs> It did make him look cool, thank you very much! But basically, he was the biggest twit idiot of all time, including the time we were all moderately kills in space. That's a long time! That's like before the creation of Earth! It is a long time. Ha! Huh, well, I haven't told you guys about his lowly assistant, have I? He didn't have one. In any case. Oh no, he had one. His name was a bull scaria because big ugly face scared little children. No, wait, it's Sophia. A fitting name for his girlish high voice and bony arms. Attacking my masculinity, huh? Hmm. No, no, no. Even better. Prickle eye. <laughs> oh. Using my human name is cheating! And okay, maybe he wasn't as much of an idiot as the Prince Nomania. <laughs> Fomania. But he was a downright weirdo freak. Name one thing he does that a weirdo freak would do. Two words. Yogurt. Very. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Also, Eri dressing up like this guy from that one anime. Doesn't count, name another. He once dressed up as some- <laughs> he, he once dressed up as some anime guy from a show called The Snack of Titans. Attack on Titan. Ooh, no, copyright! Copyright, we gotta go- Nah, I'm kidding. It's called Attack on Titan. You uncultured swine! And to this day, he kept the outfit in his wardrobe. <laughs> he still has the jacket! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, sorry. I was just thinking about that one time in uh, Gartic Phone in which I I was just given the prompt Weeb Bulgaria and I drew Bulgaria in an Attack on Titans sweater holding a bowl of yogurt. <laughs> And Romania in the background being disappointed. Okay, you can stop naming things now. He had a crush on the tall blonde bloke with the rugged chin. Was that how you described it? Wait, who? I said stop naming things. Um, let's just say that this assistant was a man of unique character. Not like Prince Romania was much better. He talked about stuff that wasn't real all the time and freaked everyone out so he had no friends and insisted he was a vampire even though he's clearly not. Hmm. These two sound like really rubbish heroes. 
Uh, well, I mean, it'd be interesting seeing a story about these two where they're like the misfits and then they gotta prove themselves in their adventure. You see, they actually weren't. They were actually very good at being heroes, even if they were a bit unconventional. Yeah, so anyway, the story takes place one bright day. <laughs> Yay! The Prince Nomania awoke as he always did to greet the commoners in his finest regalia to the adoring masses. Yay! Unfortunately, his regalia consisted of offensively tight clothes and with hideous shoulder pauldrons and the masses hated him these days because he was such a big idiot and couldn't run his country properly. So the only people he managed to gather were people he woke up with his tirades. Citizens of Bulgaria, I come to you humbly, request, first of all, stop hating me so much. It didn't work. Very well, then I shall therefore command you. Tell me what is wrong so that I may fix it. I'm sorry, honey. You can't fix anything. It's just too far gone. We feel sick. The taxes are rising. The food won't grow. I lost the gambling match. All right, all right, okay. I didn't realize things were so cruddy. And I'm pretty sure that gambling matches your fault. I still want to complain about it. Um, in any case, I, sol I solemnly swear to fix these problems. You have my word that I personally will see to it that you all become happy again. Yay! Happiness! Yay! Jeez, there is... there is no music going on. Hmm. Yeah. Um, if you see a music note on the top right hand corner, that means that it's m music that I put in the background and it it's not music in the game. Hey advisor, I need you to fix all the problems those citizens just complained about. Didn't you just say that you would fix the problems? Pretty sure I pay you to fix all my problems. And look at that. My citizens problems are my problems. Which means you get to fix them. Yay. Also, it's time for me to take a bath. I sweated a bit from standing under that hot sun for 10 minutes. You took a bath four hours ago. I'm royalty! I'm allowed to take as many bats as I want and let the water bill go through the roof. Now move along. That's a word of advice, your majesty. True, you could heave all the responsibility onto me. But wouldn't it be better if you did the work? Or, at the very least, appear to do all the work? But I'm a prince! I can't work! Honey, you got a big storm coming. That's not true. <sighs> Never mind. No, what I'm saying is what you should look like you're doing work. But don't you worry, I'll be the one who does the actual thinking. Like the issue of the crops failing. It sounds like there's an issue afoot, either because of the soil quality, the seeds themselves, or something else. We can go together and investigate. You'll be there looking pretty, and I'll do the actual searching. Well, I am very good at looking pretty. Ahem, <laughs> Salvi Golden. Sure, make haste for the carriages immediately! The fields are- they're next to the palace. That's still a long ways away! I'm guessing you'd also like feet compressors and a chilled goblet of water after the journey? Yes, that would be lovely! Thank you! Oh my god. <laughs> the pain. Okay, yay! Now I get to save! Prince Fulminia and Advisor Prickolai! So, this is a fun little story so far. I really like... The dialogue, 
I think the art is good. It's nice. And the dialogue is where it really shines through. So, yeah. Gonna continue on Prince Romania and Advisor Prickleye's adventure in the next video. See ya! Thank you.